Glad you liked the Shakedown University teaching videos, like last week's. But I'm taking your advice and posting links to the other three SDU shows on each video, so all the info is all in one place. Plus, look for an upcoming Road Testament, where JF Musial gets into the reasons why karting is a great way to start racing. He and Ian go all Steve McQueen with their cameras, capturing drama footage of 12 horsepower supercarts lapping New York's Monticello Motor Club. Coming in May, right? Yes. Cool. But today, something else I like to do, and haven't done in a while. Connecting the dots on racing news, then ranting my ass off. Green flagging your right to comment right back. Prompted by your snarks that FLD ignored Formula Drift in Long Beach, and my observations on F1 in Malaysia, IndyCar in Alabama, stay tuned as I try to make Glenn Beck, Keith Oberman, Lewis Black, and Daniel Tosh sound like poetry readers versus my vitriolic anger about the destruction of real racing. Before the real Long Beach GP, that's a shot to get your comments going. Formula Drift uses the final turns and hairpin as round one of their season. Speedhunters.com called last week's event epic. Okay. The podium was filled with V8s. Justin Pollock's Mustang leading the V8 S14 and S13 of racers Powers and Die respectively. Five of the six top finishers were V8s, a trend that plays to the crowd because the show loves big smoke. Then I watched F1 in Malaysia and saw DRS wings make passing easy because everyone says passing is what the F1 show needs. And I watched IndyCar 2 since I kind of retired the dead to me list. By the way, should I bring it back? Indy has a new side-by-side -side restart rule, you know, to liven up their show, which it did because every restart had wankerific spins and crashes. Time to connect the freaking dots, shakedowners. I like racing, the sport. If I want to see a show, I live in New York, I'll go to Broadway. But racing wants to forget sport and create more show. To grab the attention of you snack food sugar addled, Red Bull Buzz, six minute YouTube video attention defecated, Twitter ADD'd, 18 to 34 male demos. You got your armpits into Old Spice, your hair into Axe, and your mind into mindless distraction like a porn family of tiger blooded Charlie Sheens. But I don't think you're ruining the sport. Racing itself is. Chasing you like an undersex schoolboy as his first visit to Falcon Tire Girl's autograph table. Let's start with drifting. It's not my thing, I'll never lie to you, but I respect the skills. I can't drift a car like that. Still, let's level with each other. It's a show, it has judges. And now all this V8 tire smoke is turning drifting into nothing more than a V8 cylinder, trying too hard to be cool hookah bar. But compared to F1, at least FD isn't letting its V8 trend change the action. Every F1 DRS pass is fake. It's a manufactured draft, just like NASCAR. Oh, and you F1 dilettantes, stop banging on Kimmy for going over to the dark side. He just went to the source. And when Hamilton and Alonso did fight, F1 penalized him. On Speed TV, Sam and who did you blow to still get airtime Posey suggested take off the mirrors so passing with Kurz and DRS is even easier. Sammy says no defense make for better racing. WTMF and F. Racing wants an artificial show, head for a titty bar. But you want to go this way? Take a hint from the financial world where mergers are back. So let's merge F1 and Formula Drift. No more passing. That's been the problem. Just slide jobs through every F1 corner. Big smoke at 18,000 RPM. DRS to control the drift. Curves to get Weber closer to drift partner Vettel when he falls behind. Bernie gets to keep his V8s. And I get to watch the collective psyches of old school F1ers like Posey and the two Davids, Hobbs and Coulthard, explode their heads on camera. F1 drifting for today's fans. And Grand Marshal for this racing porn show, Charlie Sheen. And let's merge IndyCar too. Charlie loves a three-way, you will too. Side-by-side -side action all around the track, not just on restarts. And Black Lotus Petrov opens my eyes to another merger, Global Rallycross. Quick, call Austin. That hill needs to be rebuilt into a jump. Now we'll get the American crowds. It's time for the leaders of racing to grab their inner Simon Cowles and go for it. Bernie already knows that. He's already asking Simon for big ideas. The days of engine equivalency rules and forcing fans to figure out complex pit strategies, they're over. And about this whole green racing thing, it too is a sham. Turns out Red Bull and Renault, with their blown floors, are burning 10% more fuel versus before. So much for eco racing, curs be damned. Chris D, a commenter on racecar-engineering.com wrote, quote, 
cool if they could take this a step further, make the side pods out of chopped down rainforest, run curs on panda blood. You know, for generations, racing was popular with billions around the globe for its life as a sport, for its ever advancing technology and the drivers who performed ungodly feats of racing magic. But all that, the racing experts say, is missing the point with 21st century car boys. So bring on the show, game show tricks, video game action, screw the real racing, no time for that. For you guys, for me, if racing continues to ruin racing, I'll have time to enjoy those other real sports, like bowling and golf and figure skating again. Whoa, that felt good. But with that out of our system, it's time to refocus and get back to shaking down new race cars and all the racing action. Remember, Long Beach Shakedown this Monday, April 18th. The New York Auto Show, Thursday and Friday. How many people do you think will take this seriously? Which one? All of it. A lot. <laughs> A lot.